Also, uh, your your raise. I think you should have some formula where you do get like an immediate raise, and and the council follows behind somewhat. I, I think the the mayor should be at least making, you know, two times what minimum wage is. I don't think that's a lot to ask. Do you? Uh, no, but uh, you know, I tend to think I, I, it's a sensitive issue. Uh, this is. Uh, I, I think what it comes down to, in my mind, and, and having been in office for several years, and, and and having seen other mayors as well as myself, um, I, I think you do earn it, from what I can see. And and most elected officials do take a strong stab at it. Others put less effort into it than others, but that's fine. They get elected. Um, the, the big thing is, if you're going to have representative government. How are you going to have people who are accountable, who, who just say, well, I don't really, I just want to do it for nothing? How do you call somebody and hold them accountable at 3 in the morning for a problem uh, if, if they're making sub-minimum wage or something like that? You just don't. And I think that's what you lose a little bit when you so devalue these positions in this, in, in, in constantly saying, well, I don't need the money and all, all of that. Well, four of the five council members are members of the state retirement system. So, I mean, it, it affects all of them. Yeah, I think the mayor should have medical as well. I just think it's a very important thing that's very expensive right now, and yeah, well, that's, they'll worry. Yeah, that's a, a battle. That, uh, actually, the county did a survey that 57 out of 59 counties did pay their legislators medical. But, uh, uh, you know, it's not something that is in the cards in this community right now. And you have, to a certain extent, you have to, you know. Uh, well, this is a flourishing city right now, and while, while it is, I think we should be, you know, paying everybody fairly and, and this particular thing, it just doesn't look like we really are. Yeah. And I think most people... Well, what's the answer, though? I mean, uh, you, you know, you propose something and get it voted down three to two? Well, you know, your, your three to two is, is leaving. You know, it's like... Yeah, but I, I, I really don't think... Coming against you, you know, I just think he was trying to do whatever he thought people would want to hear in order to get to the objective that he wanted. And it's not really realistic that anybody does any of this for free. It's tough. Right, right. Yeah, it's no, we're, we're in an area where things are just, you know, even, you're, you're, just as an example, your, your girl there, Cindy Miller, you know, who would have thought if five years ago, you know, or ten years ago, you'd said, like, here's the 800-square-foot house on Cooper Street, asking price is, you wouldn't say 100000 <laughs> No. Well, this, things have changed. And I'm not saying she won't get better, and it's not a nice house, but I'm not about to Cooper Street, an 800-square-foot house is doubled, if not tripled, in price in the last decade. Mm -hmm. It seems like the, you know, the pay of some of the city things hasn't. You know, we don't want to lose good people. You're a good person. We don't want to lose, you know, anyone who's trickling down, whether it's, you know, the bottom person that just started that could, you know, work for the city or go work for the private industry. Let's, let's keep some good people. Right. Well, I agree with you, and I think it's, uh, I, I think it is an important issue. Um, it's just a question of when you bring it up, people just don't want to deal with it because they, they feel there's some group out there but what better time to deal with it than at the end of a term and um you know that's the way i look at it now the county went who's, through, like, uh, who's whistling in the background i don't know county did it a you know a different way they just bumped it up all up, basically all at once over a two-year period and then put an escalator in there and, and and nobody ever said a thing about it so i don't know my feeling is i would just probably be inclined to uh repeal the local law from 1988 and then uh let the council set the salaries through budget. And if they don't like the one that they've approved the last three years for me, let them amend it. Well, if they don't, the next, you know, the next minimum wage update, you'll be making less than minimum. Well, I am now. But, I mean, that's, uh, that, you know, it isn't a question of minimum wage because it's kind of a unique job. It's a Well, it's, if you based it on, what, 20 hours is what it's supposed to be based uh, on? No, it's based on, it's basically a job that, that, uh, always just has a low salary because it, obviously it, it, it's not a, a constant nine to five type job but uh, you know i consider it you're always mayor you're always out doing the job and you just set a salary that's somewhat commensurate with that if it's 10 15 20 whatever uh the council approved last july or last june a salary of 15 606 um there was no trickery involved it was in the budget they voted on it and approved it um and uh you know my own opinion is that should probably take effect but it won't as long as this local law from 1988 is in effect. So uh, I would say, uh, you know, we'll vote on that, and maybe in the future they'll they'll set these things during the budget process as they should be. Well, uh, I, I hope it gets in there quick. Don't wanna don't wanna. Well, it's got to be resolved quickly because otherwise it lingers and it gets it creates problems, and you get the the 
you know, the chattering glass involved and everything else. So I, I think it's uh, it's probably as good a time as any uh, to try to address.